Hello, hello, good morning, my friend. This is Jeanette from Makeup Artist, filming from San Antonio, Texas. I welcome you in this beautiful new makeup tutorial day. Today is going to be a very fun makeup look. I'm going to be teaching uh, some, I would like to say a little bit more advanced techniques, not only on the placement of the product on your eyes, but to teach you how to work with uh, some uh, tools, okay? We are going to be working with these uh, mini buds or Q-tips. I normally order this stuff at, from Amazon. They're very cheap. Uh, the idea of today makeup look, my friend, is to do um, something fun because it's summer and uh, for the purpose, I pick this palette, okay? Not because it is trendy, but because I'm going to be using, you know, the color story. Let us start from that. The color story on this palette are just stunning, okay? Because you can use this shade in so many ways, in so the combination, you know, the metallic shade, the, the dry wet uh, metallic shades are so mesmerizing as the matte. So since you have dual crumbs, you know, shades over here, so you can play. It's so many options. This palette is a one of a kind. It's a gorgeous palette. Yes. For the purpose of what we are going to be creating today, any palette actually can help me. But if you don't have this exactly Cosmo palette, my friend, don't worry. Like I'm saying, you can just pick any other palette. If you want to recreate this makeup look, the shade I'm going to be picking is called Mars. Okay, look like a, it's a reddish tone have an stunning, my friend, an stunning kind of a peachy, oh, peachy goldish undertone is stunning, is completely matte, okay? So I'm going to be using this one that is called Comet. This is Mars Comet and even a lighter shade for the transition than it is called a space dust, okay? We're going to be working as well with uh, metallic shades, you know, for the detail we are going to be creating. You can use same um, idea, let us put it that way. You can use the same idea of what I'm going to do today with different shades, okay? My purpose today is to teach you the technique. Being said, I want to welcome you in this new makeup tutorial day. I really hope that you enjoy this, this look we are going to be doing together. And um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, subscribe, please like and comment. I really appreciate, you know, for all of my subscribers. Um, and this makeup look is for you, my loves. The idea today is to create art. Okay, that is what I study for. Let us do art. For a reason, I'm telling you, don't focus that I'm picking this specific palette, okay? You can use any palette that you have at home. The idea is that you learn something different. I already concealed my eyes with this mesmerizing high coverage concealer by Gush. I think it's okay, it's 100, which is porcelain. This high coverage concealer from Gash Copenhagen. Let me explain to you something. Since it is high coverage, but it's not only for the purpose of being high coverage, had a peachy undertone, which that help you to cancel the dark circle, which is my case, okay? I found myself reaching out to this product like crazy lately. Uh, 
using color correcting which require another step in your makeup routine you can just pick four product my friends that are going to be serving you for the purpose of the cancellation okay it's very versatile it's a multitask product it is only eleven dollars my skin from cecily paris double tensor beautiful if you haven't tried this primer my friends I know okay, it's a little pricey right now. If I don't mistake, this primer, it is a retailer for $220, okay? And, um, but with a tiny little bit, you go a long way in your, to my face by using La Mer J230 Light Ochre. This is a light fluid. I would like to say that I have a light medium coverage, but it's super, super liquid, super pleasant to apply it. Produce this kind of a foundation with amazing property that actually nurture your skin. Okay, I did one eye offline for the only purpose uh, of time-wise. I always emphasize the importance, you know, to be working with precision brushes okay i haven't used any primer anything to hold the shades this is just pure placement and since the shades i'm using from cosmo palette is presenting some fallout my friends so i'm going to proceed and use my eye protector chio If you are not a makeup artist, but you are a makeup lover, okay? It's two type of people, two type of uh, people that you can see, you know, working, and you can see this a lot on the influencers. One is the type of person that is visual, okay, that can have the skills to look a makeup look and recreate it and not necessary that person have to be a makeup artist okay that is a gift and the other people you know it is the schooling one like me and i can actually work on this kind of uh, makeup look by using techniques and for those people that maybe doesn't have any of this gift or attributes you know you can learn with me but it's presenting a little, tiny little fallout so i'm going little by little on the product okay and i'm going to start by the corner The brush, by the way, that I'm using is a precise eye brush from NYX. Okay, I love it, my friend, and it's the number 42. Okay, this is the eye set. So if you can observe, I'm going with the rounding motions don't feel afraid of playing with your palette okay because if you have palette at home but you don't know how to use it my friend start recreating is nothing bad doing that because that is the way that you actually learn but you need to practice okay you can do this exactly make up look with the color story you want to pick, okay? Because since it is summer, imagine for the evening and you have a dinner by the beach. Look how gorgeous it's because it's a sunset shade, you know? 
is a very warm shade. It's, I would love to say that this kind of shade, my friend, is a hybrid. And something really important, my loves, I didn't face any problem of patchiness. We start now making sure about the symmetry. So little things to take in consideration. And my friends, um, also you decide you would love to recreate this um, this makeup look. I really encourage you, you know, to work according to your eye shapes, okay? So this is step over here. I did it with this Dawn brush. This is a Morphe. I love Morphe when I work on this kind of a makeup look, friend. an idea I'm going to proceed with comet and then with the space dust okay first with comet and lastly with the space dust so I'm going to proceed with comet As you can see, Comet is a lightest shade, okay? I actually start, you know, making the transition, a beautiful transition from the dark shade to this very pretty color that is called Comet. So I go applying this shade all along the work I did. It is crazy for the price that I paid on this palette how amazing the quality is. Now I switch to a MAC cosmetic blending brush. To make this transition very pretty. The Dawn brush, because you know okay, I don't work without using the Pat McGrath, the Artistry One product. For the only reason, this helps you a lot for the placement of pigment. I can do it, but without it, but I think honestly that the pigment hold much better so now I'm going to apply this gorgeous shade. It's Quasar. This shade is Quasar. Okay, so I'm gonna start applying this shade where I didn't put anything. and moving toward the crease using the same brush where I did apply the product, the, uh, the primer for this shade. I continue 
refining the mess. So I go again with my Artistry One Primer for Pigment. And I do apply it on the inner. And I'm applying it on the corner, on my outer corner. Why? Because I really want to do a very nice transition. So I try to connect, you know, both shades. So you see how I am diffusing this gorgeous, like a coppery shimmer shade into the green. You won't believe it, but here on the pen, look, is this one. The second one from left to right. And the name is Sun. Look, this one is the one I apply in the center. And this one is the one that I'm using as a transition. How pretty. Look at this. Oh my. Now I'm telling you, my friend, look at this. And they are like a hybrid dual chrome. Okay. So I'm going to proceed and use the very, very angle, sharp angle brush from Kat Von D. Look, my friend, how gorgeous is this brush? Oh my. Look at the shape. Oh, they are on the inner is super sharp defined so since this one went a little bit higher I'm using a dry clean q-tip okay my friend I'm going to be using the makeup forever mist and fix so I'm going to Dump slightly my Q-tip for the only purpose of the line I want to create, okay? You see? This is what I took. Now with the dry part. With the other side, I dump with a mist and fix from Makeup Forever. You can see the, the line, so I'm mimicking the same angle, okay? Is no makeup look that is going to be completely, completely perfect, my friends. For that reason, my loves, so don't be hard on yourself, okay? With the back and forth, you can still reshaping and refining. So now I'm going with the shade Sun, same one as that one. 
look how pretty it is oh my I'm applying Mecca Forever, the Boom Shade Artist Artist Color Pencil. It's called Boom. Because this is going to help you to open up a little bit more your eye, okay? Next, using our glass, the 1.5 millimeter, I'm going to start applying this product on my upper waterline. You can use green, dark green, like the one that Natasha Danona have. This is called Willow, if I don't mistake. But since I wanted a statement on the eye, I'm using the black obsidian is the name. So now with my tone four is a defining it's called the eye defining pen. Okay, this side completely dry. <laughs> a year, over than a year using this pen. Oh my goodness, it's the best. The best, the best liquid pencil ever. I love so uh, these are all the brushes they are all precision high precision brushes from Morphe NYX Kat Von D and my Kiko oh and my beautiful blending brush from my and no makeup is 100% perfect no one they are sisters, but they are not twins. And I, I apologize for my dogs, and they are troglodytes. They are real troglodytes. Look from Scott Barnes. It's one of my favorite eyelashes. They are extremely, extremely light. They are soft, they are flexible. Straight false lashes, 100% synthetic. It's called falsetto, okay? I love his eyelashes. This is the one that I, I did apply. I did apply the, the second eyelash. Always, I don't know if this is just with me, but always one eyelash take longer than the other one. And I'm going to proceed apply right now the mascara from Gucci Le Obscure. I'm going to reapply a tiny little bit more glue on not on this corner but on this one and also I'm going to because I, I told you an extremely perfectionist I just want to apply
you see the difference when I look down if I have to do the pictures but I don't worry you know fixing this little detachment I'm presenting on the inner corner eyelash that is going to be noticeable there we go now I think it is in place there we go so like I'm saying I, I really love taking care you know all those little detail because at the end like I was saying they are going to be hunting you <laughs> I'm going to apply my Charlotte Tilbury the glow bronzer I just bought it my friend <laughs> oh my this this is something else okay it's called beautiful skin sun kiss glow bronzer and the shade I'm using is number one, Fair Pale. Look at this. Patrick Ta, the powder brush. I don't think this one have a name. I, I just know that it is the powder. So, because this is a cream form, okay? I'm going in circles grab what I need and have to tell you some beautiful feedback about this bronzer okay because you know we see a lot of stuff on uh, YouTube mainly YouTube now because everybody wants to be on YouTube then this bronzer was forming patches I couldn't be more in disagreement the application of this powder is so airbrush. I have no other words to define the finish. What a beautiful powder. Oh, it's literally airbrush. And let me tell you, I really enjoy applying my bronzer everywhere where I see boom no patches form blendability extremely creamy literally like silk okay i totally disagree people that was saying on youtube that this product was forming patches is not unless because the performance of the product had a lot to do as well with the type of brush you are using for example, you use, I'm going to show you a brush. I know this is um, it's for contouring, okay? For example, you are using a brush for the application of your powder and the brush is really dense. Once and you apply the product, it's going to leave a patch because actually the bristles doesn't have the mobility and flexibility as a long bristles brush and now proceeding with a blush a blush brush I'm using a Scott barn and the brush number is 66 and going again with Dior rosy glow the 004 coral This is my new product. I got these three shades from the Rosy collection. How gorgeous they are, friends. So I did apply this now. As you can see, this natural glow. I don't know what is coming from. I don't know if this is uh, from the bronzer because I haven't applied any illuminator today. Oh my. 
I want, I would like to say that it's a bronzer. Let me see. Wow. It's a cream form powder, but I was reading on the instruction the other day that says that once that the product set on your skin is not moving. For my lips, no, I think that okay, this is the first time I'm going to show it to you. Look what I did. Okay, the review is going to be today, so stay tuned. The shape of the applicator is fantastic because actually it's helping you to structure your lips. I was saying on the makeup review that normally when you have this kind of a, a addict lip volumizer okay they are not going to have a lot of pigmentation and the reason number one it is because they are lip glosses you can expect too much pigment from this kind of product okay friends look look how natural it is and the shade I'm using 018. So what? Let us say that you want to turn a little more light to your face. Sorry. And a little bit more life to the face. This is from Tom Ford. It's called Mood Light. Because if you haven't seen me using this before, I can do it now. So I go in a round. Again, when you are by the beach, your skin is not going to be matte, okay? That's, that is one thing. Look at the glow, my friend. <sighs> Actually, you are going to be with this kind of sun kiss effect, okay? You saw me how much I did apply. Literally is nothing. And this is from Tom Ford Mood Light. And the investment in this product, friends, is the best, one of the best in, uh, choices I've done. Look how much the complexion change. I'm not using any kind of illuminators, but I'm using a face powder that is just stunning from Hourglass. Dipping on the three shades, the face powder, okay? And using the airbrush, flawless setting spray, from Charlotte Tilbury. Oh. What this product does is basically to set and lock the product on your face. A look at the finish. If you are running out of inspiration, if you are running out of motivation, well, let me tell you, don't do it. Do your makeup every day, please. Even though you don't feel like, even though you can put your skin prep, you know, in one shade, it's all what you need. If you practice your makeup every day, you don't have to be a makeup artist. If you have skills or if you don't have a skill, this is why, okay? Some people are more visual, you know, and, and they can actually recreate something by just looking okay but if you have the technique with more reason and you are running out of more uh, inspiration or motivation this is why i'm here my friends okay um i really hope you enjoy this uh, tutorial makeup look today along with the fabulous makeup product and i couldn't say goodbye by showing you one more time this beauty oh my best investment ever all the product you see me using my friend 
I pay for it. Nobody pay me for telling you what I think, what I prove or what I disapprove. Because if a product is not going to perform as I really like, for me, somebody else can benefit tremendously from the same product that didn't work for me. For that reason, my friends, uh, don't be so prompt to listen, you know, negativity about the feedback of the product. Just keep searching. If you are in the looking of something, this is what I'm here. I show options. I show different kind of product and you can maybe, you know, think out of the box and thinking, okay, maybe I haven't tried that. Maybe I haven't tried this other one. So, and you can start having an idea where to start looking, okay? Not necessarily everything has to be super expensive. I pay $11 for this beautiful, amazing product. So the halter top I'm dressing today is from Sara. This bow should be on the back, but I did something creative today by bringing, you know, the bow at front and just tied it with this bling bling that is a pins brush. This is from the craft store. So just creativities, just ideas, what to do, you know, and this is nothing expensive, my love. I pay $35 for this halter neck top. I hope that you really like the content. Um, I do art, I do makeup, as you imagine. I don't have a sponsor, so everything uh, I bought and I expose on this channel is coming from my pocket and my husband's help. Uh, he's my blessing. <laughs> Thank you very much again. I love you all. God bless you. And I will be speed, you know, with the editing because I'm the editor as well. All of my videos are filmed 4K. If you didn't know that, 4K using, I would like to say 60% of natural light. Okay. So don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, please. And see you soon. God bless you all. I love you all. And thank you to all of my subscribers. I couldn't be here without you. I couldn't be here without your love. So I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So stay tuned. And oh, the last thing, I normally do two plus videos weekly, okay? Not short, tutorial. I normally am uploading minimum two up to three videos. So stay tuned for the next one.